Hi there, it's time to see what I read in November. So this is my monthly wrap up, but it's also kind of my year end wrap up, I guess, even though I didn't really plan anything to like wrap up the whole year other than to show you how I did with my um, Goodreads list. I might make a separate video for like a whole year thing. I don't know. But I always do this short video and then follow up with the review video. So let's go ahead and just see what I read um, in November and how I did for the year. All right. So as you can see, I completed my challenge for this year. I went back a little bit last this year to um, 50 books, which I've done 50 books before. Um, I've done 60 books before. When I tried to go up to 75 books, that's when COVID hit. And so I've been slowly trying to creep my way back up. Um, I don't think that's going to be difficult to do, especially since um, I've been meaning to do a picture book readathon, and that's going to give me lots of titles. Um, however, I'm going to put that off. I was going to do it um, in December. I've been, I think I've been talking about doing it in December, but I'm going to save it till next year. I've got some ideas. I'll be sharing those later. So I got 54 out of uh, 50 books. That, that was my year. So let's quickly look at what I actually read in November. Let's see here. Oh, loading, loading, loading. <laughs> so I read um, Book of the Dead. This is the first in a series by um, uh, Jay Schmoncrife. And this is actually a spinoff from her Ghost Writers series. And so I really enjoyed it. I gave it um, five stars and I'll be talking more about it in the review video. All right, so this is um, Teen Titans Beast Boy Loves Raven. This is the uh, free comic book day um, release that they had. So this isn't the whole book. This is just a preview of the book. So you get like the first couple of pages. I've read the first two books, the Beast Boy book and the Raven book. So the next one is the Beast Boy Loves Raven book. And I don't usually do previews, but this one was free. So I figured I'd try it out. Five stars. Talk about that more later. All right. So this book is actually one of my IWSG member spotlight um, book club reads for the month of November. Um, this is an extremely short story. <laughs> I gave it an overall rating of three and I'll get into it more with my review. One good catch, this is actually a sequel to um, a book that I read last month. It's funny, last month it was the IWSG book club book, but this time around, I just wanted to read the next book in the series. I like the series, it's a good adult series. I gave it four stars and I'll be talking about it more in my review. Tristan Strong keeps on punching. This is the third book in the Tristan Strong series. Um, I love the first book and second book. Um, I think I even did like a spoiler review for the first book. And I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I just gotta sit down and do it because I left a very brief review of it. Basically just saying that I loved it and I was going to elaborate more later. Five stars. All right, the next one is Lion's Legacy. This was the other IWSG book club read for the month of November, we do too. And so this was the other one. I also gave it a three star, but I also also got the next book in this series. So the review will definitely explain why. And the last thing I read in November was Shattered, A Story of Betrayal and Courage. I've read, I think, maybe two other books by this author. I like her stuff. Um, it's just a lot, it's very contemporary and contemporary is not my go-to. And it's either middle grade or young adult with her. So again, those are two things that I'm not always reading. I'm trying to get, I'm finding that I'm liking middle grade more than YA, but um, this one is actually to, be, to me, this one feels more like new adult than young adult, but these are just semantics. Anyway, I gave it a four star. And of course I'll be elaborating more in my review. So that was what I read in November. Like I said, I did complete my Goodreads challenge for the year, which I'm very proud of. Um, a lot of times I think people have to pick and choose and I think that's a good thing. Um, you can focus more on reading or you can focus more on writing. Um, I love to write and I'm writing all the time. I don't talk about my writing that much because I save a lot of that for my Patreon community. But um, I did read a whole lot more than I wrote, but that's just typical for me because I love to read, even though I also love writing. So anyway, um, that's what I have, and I'll be doing my review video very soon, and yeah, okay, bye-bye.
拜拜。